Hello guys, welcome back to our channel. My name is Balram Prasad and I am working with Microsoft as a senior software engineer. In today's demo, we are going to see how we can improve AI search result using semantic search and how we can enable semantic ranking in Azure AI search. So semantic ranker is a collection of capabilities provided in Azure AI search which improves the quality of search result. If you have seen previous video of this playlist, then we have run a lot of text-based queries by using keyword searching, right? So now if we enable this one, what it will do that, it will enable a secondary ranking over initial result. This secondary ranking will use result provided by initial ranking which is bm25 or rrf depending upon our setting and it will use multilingual deep learning model to see that what context we are trying to run this query and trying to find the response let's see one of the example suppose we wanted to find based on capital right capital can be used in different meaning based on different context right it could be associated with provinces, state, building, country, capital of a country, right? It could be associated with crime, punishment, capital punishment or crime, capital crime or whatever related to that one, right? It also can be related to taxing, right? Capital tax, uh, capital investment, capital gains, right? A lot of things related to that one. Or it could be related to capital letter or small letters, right? So that's what it tried to find using deep learning models that what we are trying to ask, it uses the search based on initial ranking and it read ranks based on our context. And just to give you more context, nowadays, semantic search and uh, we, you might have heard about vector search. So that will be bringing that if we use both semantic search plus vector search, which we will see in next video, how to enable vector search. If we enable the semantic search plus vector search, we are going to use with some chat bot application or LLM based application that gives excellent output if you ask the question. Because if you ask the question, figure out the context which you are trying to ask, right? What was the previous question context? So that all you have to, uh, this search has to figure out. And that's why this semantic ranking and semantic search with vector search is one of the important feature inside Azure AI search. Just to recap of this playlist quickly, we have created AI search, we have created index, we have imported data from Azure SQL, Cosmos, we have also created index from files, we have also created index from images, PDF and other things. We have also integrated Azure AI language translation. So let's go back to Azure portal and let's see how we can enable this semantic ranking and how we can run a query which is going to use semantic search. Before we go to Azure portal for a demo, just a humble request that if you like this content, then please subscribe our channel and do share with your friend and colleague and provide some comments so that we can reach to other people also. Right now we are in Azure portal and this is the search service which we have created into previous demo and we have created index, index search and data source and all those things. And right now let's go and see if we can enable semantic ranker in this free tier. So if we go and see that there is message called that hey semantic ranker is not available for service tier free. So we have to create a standard, right? So let's go and create one more time, one search service. I'm selecting my subscription and resource group. I'm going to put the name and I'm going to say that it's apps semantic, right? The search service name. And we are going to keep into West US2. Depending upon your need, you can choose that one. I'm going to 
select that standard. So if you see right now free or basic we can have, we can try for basic also and uh, we can try for a standard also. So let me go and try with the standard. Let's go to next page and let's see we need a scaling or not. For demo, we do not need any scaling. So I'm going to keep as it is. We do not need to enable other private settings for connectivity. So I'm going to review and create this uh, search service. And once we reach to overview pane, we can see that this is a standard here. Once we go to semantic ranker, by default free is selected. This is the additional cost. So by default free is selected here. And you can change depending upon your need. If you have more than 1000 requests per month, right now we are going to have demo only couple of requests we are going to make. But in for demo, if you are using this feature, then you can enable depending upon need your selected prompt and it can change. Right now I'm going to keep selected as a free. And let's go and try to create one index. And for creation of index, we are going to leverage data provided by Microsoft itself. So I'm going to click on import data from overview page. I'm going to use a sample data set. Let's go and use, this is the sample provided by Microsoft itself. So I'm going to use hotel sample. So now I'm going to next uh, cognitive skills. And we have seen this demo for how to enable cognitive skills and other things in in one of our videos in this playlist. So I'm not going to enable any settings from here. Let's go to customize target index. So we have seen all this target index into previous demo. So I'm going to keep as it is. And we will go to indexer. And because this is sample data set, we cannot schedule. So I'm going to run only once. Let me submit this. Index is created and it will run. Let's go to indexer. Right now it is running, uh, data source has been created, index is succeeded, 50 records are there. It will take some time to come into hotel index. Let's see, right now document count is zero. So now we can see there is 50 record count. So before we go ahead and run our query, if we go inside our index, we did not have created any semantic configuration. So let's go ahead and create right now semantic configuration. So before semantic configuration, let me run one query. So I will go and run this query so that we can compare what is the output difference on that one. So if we see uh, this query, so I'm let me take the snapshot so that we can see later. Right now it is using Keyword searching, not we have not provided any details that how it should look like, right? Uh, if we go into JSON. So right now we have provided the default setting. We have not created any semantic configuration, right? So let's go ahead and create one semantic configuration. Listen, I'm going to create a semantic configuration name. So let's go ahead and select that title field. So I'm going to have a hotel name as a title field. And then field name, which we are going to use that. Let's have description, description underscore French. And in keyword, we are going to have, uh, let's see the tags, right? And category we can have, depending upon our need, we can have. So I'm going to use this one and then I'm going to save this settings. Once again, we have to save from top. So now we have created a configuration based on this fields, right? So let me go into search explorer. Let's run a deeper query with all the details, right? So I'm going to use this as a query and see that. Now we are going to run query type is a semantic and search same search we are going to do. And this is the semantic configuration it is going to use. We can have multiple semantic configuration. That's why we have to provide that one. and how which type of answer we want to have caps on highlighted pre tag and post tag all we wanted to have so let's run that now if we see that there are right re ranked scores so if we see our index we did not have pre rankings right so we have now re ranked score and based on context it changes all the details like this hotel came into top right excellent under management and other things and if we see there are different things is coming like highlights is coming. What is the highlight? It makes sublime, cliff hotel, concise, 24 hours. So it tried to find based on context, which trying to understand that with good food, it has a bar, it has continental breakfast, it is coming. So this is this all this is coming, right? 
So it went ahead and re-ran, re-ran based on initial rank. It filtered based on that and it brings all the details, additional details with caption and highlights. So this is what I wanted to show that how we can improve our initial search result using semantic search. I hope you will like this content. If you like this content, please provide some comment so that we can reach to more people. And if you like, please share with your colleague and friends.